Let's talk about Anthony Weiner's dick, baby. Yeah. No, Jeez. that's a, that's such a great story. My man. I don't know what kind of commentary we could offer on that. That would be any that it's hilarious. Than, yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> this is so fucking funny. It's you so know what's good. fucked up? Is he didn't get to fuck that 15 He's year never old. fucked any of these people, <laughs> yeah. dude. This is the fucking craziest shit on earth. But no, He's never not. fucked them. I don't yeah. think he that's crazy. He just sexed them. How is that not crazy, dude? I don't His think whole that, career's that, over for sexting? Well, okay. For beating off to no, women no, no, that no. could have been chat bots? It's almost like the, you know, the country could be, you know, it could fucking influence the election now. Yeah. Yeah, he's all right. Schlong. I don't. I think okay. Obviously, that's crazy. I don't think it's crazy. Even if that even if even if, fuck the even if Trump that's doesn't insane. win, even if Trump doesn't win, he's damaged the the election to the point now where Hillary has to frame Russia. She's been forced yeah. into framing Russia. As She's this, a conspiracy as theorist. this fucking like extremely dangerous enemy of the United She's States. She's become at like which Alex now Jones. sets the groundwork for uh, the eventual ground war we have with Russia, where all of our do- uh, draft our daughters uh, have, to go, <laughs> have to go fight against Russia. Russia, it's going to be because Anthony Weiner tried to get a nut off in some some of that fresh 15-year-old gash. Sophomore going into junior year of yeah. high school pussy. How did they catch him? Was that like an FBI agent that's like, I'm 15 years old? Like the Jack Bauer of I don't know. catching pedophiles? Those Who? people always weird me out. The people that oh, pretend yeah. to be children on the internet. Do oh, you yeah, think yeah. they beat off... Well, oh, of course, they're also pedophiles. They're like the antimatter to pedophiles. It's Do you think like, they're uh-huh. pedophiles? Do you think they want to get fucked by old men? It's, you're fucked up. Like that's when when that to catch a predator show came out. The weirdest part about any of it is like. Uh, all of these sting operations are performed by Perverted Justice, which is an organization that pretends to be children on the internet to try and have sex with grown men. <laughs> and it's like, wait, so was these aren't that, cops? Was that it? Yeah, they weren't cops. These weren't. This wasn't law enforcement. It's people uh-huh. who, in their free time, they're like, we're doing something the cops won't do. And it's like, a, the cops already do that. Yeah. Right. You know, they already have these fucking sting operations. And like, b. What the fuck are you? They were you're probably sexting. yeah. You're likely like, they were people that were molested as kids that are doing this. You think they're beating off to it? They, yeah. I don't think they're I think, beating I think off they're probably, to it. Because you know when you molest they a kid, they, they, they become, got molested. They become they a pedophile. Batman. That's what happens. That's or how people they become. become a they become fake, pedophiles. I love it's like that. It's like, it's yeah, like, it's like vampires actually, yeah, yeah, not werewolves. Well, that that happens a lot too. Yeah, I'm actually like really into. I'm into like vampires and zombies and pedophiles and wrestling and comic books. Yeah, Halloween. Yeah, I'm really into that show, Walking Dead. Something unique about me is that I'm like really into the Christopher Nolan Batman movies and the television show Walking Dead, which is. I know kind of like a sort of a it's niche a fringe yeah it's sort of like an esoteric thing to be into is the most popular movies of 2009 (laughs) yeah and uh and the show about uh zombies which is something I've always loved and not not just a thing I've I've started paying attention to fuck zombies dude zombies became mass marketed Zombies yeah, are zombie. the dumbest fucking. Yeah, uh, well, we're retarded. Vamp- the, vampires were the thing, and then they went to zombies. Vampires the, are at least kind of cool. The zombies. Dawn of the Dead remake was good. That movie was. Yes, good. it was. I saw and it. I, I saw that, and I was like, "Yeah, this is a lot of fun." But I was like, "In no way, I'm a zombie guy." I'm like, right. "That was a great. Like, that was a uh-huh. lot of fun to watch that, that movie." movie. Yeah. And then all these fucking retards were like, "Yo, I'm really into like zombies." You know, yeah. I know that's. <laughs> I'm kind of fucking uh, you know, almost, revealing myself. Well, yeah, there here. was all those like memes about zombie apocalypse. Yeah. That was like yeah, the big yeah, thing. Yeah. It's like, oh, God, yeah, yeah, so lame. Yeah. Well, one of the one of the fucking uh, the break segments I did was from this like people have been asking about him in particular. I've used this guy like three times. There's a guy uh, on uh, on YouTube named uh, Kage uh, Kage Noaku, <laughs> uh, and his display name is that sodding gamer. <laughs> Which my favorite type of nerd is the guy from America that uses British, British slang. Oh yeah. God! Would, would a bloody would a, would a bloody way to oh bloody hell <laughs> oh I can't be arsed to go to work today. <laughs> Saying oh lines what cues. a daft what a daft <laughs> fellow he is you know uh, yeah right I'm yeah. just taking the piss yeah right yeah. <laughs> that kind of shit well so yeah this guy that side and gamer who's who got went viral a couple of years ago because one of his videos is him sitting in his backyard and his mom's taping him first of all this guy's like 32 years old. hell yes uh balding horribly looks awful Hell looks yeah. like absolute shit. He looks like a fucking fat autistic Klaus Nomi. <laughs> and uh 
And he, so he's sitting there with his younger brother, who's got like an even more of like a basement rat sort of thing oh, going no. on. And he's like, okay, this is my Kitana unboxing. And he has like <laughs> this weird accent he made up. It's not a regional accent. He just sort of ducks like this. And he's oh, like, sounds like a Simpsons this character. is actually my first Kitana. So, uh, you know, there are ones that are uh, some, some, some better quality, maybe, but this one is uh, sort of a, a, a mid range katana. Uh, you know, I, I have one for a while. I think I might have seen this video. Yeah, and he's like, you know, they have some at, at flea markets, but those are just, c- just complete crap. <laughs> <laughs> like, when is the real... quality of your katana ever going to matter? <laughs> this is a real Hattori When he fucking to. kills yeah. himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> after fucking. 45 no, years of never gonna, having he's sex. He's just going to use that katana to open the packaging on more katanas. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing you do with the katana. The blister pack rating <laughs> yeah, on yeah. katanas should yeah. be that's the number one thing. Through, yeah, the How fucking... quickly can this cut through a sex doll's packaging? <laughs> yeah. How quickly can this cut through a real doll? Yeah. There's that. <laughs> if my then... real doll displeases me, <laughs> yeah. you know that guy kills his fucking real dolls? There's <laughs> that, and then there's the Game of Thrones swords guys that are like, this is like oh, yeah. Aryan steel. The guy, yeah, with the yeah. claymores and shit oh, the swords Jesus you can't Christ. even pick up yeah um, but yeah no I've used that guy a couple of times but one of his videos is like uh, okay this is uh, how to survive a zombie apocalypse <laughs> oh god <laughs> apocalypse using only swords yeah using only British expressions <laughs> uh, he's like uh, you want to conserve resources and you know you want to get a group together that's one of the like the pieces of advice is get a group, which is like, I like to, to him, the idea of forming any kind of social connection with other human beings is only exists in an apocalyptic scenario. <laughs> right, 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 the right. idea of having friends is something that could only <laughs> That's be why. That's necessitated why. by the world ending. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, you just want to live with your mom and make uh, unboxing videos. Oh my God. That's why those people want fucking apocalypse is to happen because oh yeah be dude I used to hang to, out with them i used to do a bit about when i was like younger uh about like how nerds are just obsessed with like basically any nerdy obsession it, the the prerequisite for them to be obsessed with it is that it exists in a time that's just not now right so like yeah. they're like they love the renaissance because in their mind they would have been a knight and it's like no you've been the guy that the knights make fun of <laughs> right right yeah, yeah. like our, their modern day equivalents do now or star trek's like oh things would be so much better if we lived in space it's like first of all uh starfleet is like a military organization <laughs> right. yeah you they have You'd to, have do, to they, make it through basic training. yeah you couldn't make it through basic you, they wouldn't let you in space yeah. No one on that ship is fat. You know how fucking bad you would look in that uniform? <laughs> <laughs> that fucking like Under Armour skin tight. It would show tight. every single you flaw. You would look like absolute <laughs> shit. <laughs> Just in like that fucking uniform. Pavarotti in a wetsuit. Yeah. Uh, to be in space and appreciate diplomacy. Like you're going to have some fucking asthmatic retard stinking up the sealed oxygen. You know, getting his dick sucked in the holodeck constantly. Which, by the way, they never address that on the show. Is like... Like, oh my god how much cum must be on the floor of the <laughs> holodeck and who has to clean that up that would be their job yeah their job like, would be to yeah, clean up the cum well on that's the holodeck. why they have robots i'm sure data has to do that shit i feel like that's when it got kind of lazy <laughs> i was like i was always laughing about there's an episode where they give data like or maybe it's one of the movies where they give data and like an emotion chip yeah, yeah, and then it's he, an like, episode. He yeah. can't stop laughing uncontrollably or oh, he's whatever. so annoying. Yeah, and he, yeah, he becomes, like, you know, obnoxious. And I thought it'd be so funny if they gave him the emotion ship, and then he's like, oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And they're like, Data, what's wrong? He's like, I just realized what Worf has been doing to my mouth <laughs> <laughs> for the last nine years. Oh, uh, malfunctioning, malfunctioning. Yeah, yeah. Worf just shoots Worf's him like, in the head. <laughs> get, this, get this motherfucker. <laughs> tell this little gay-ass robot. Yeah, Worf- Man, that shit's supposed to be private. <laughs> They're like, Worf, you can't keep fucking data. <laughs> Number one, make sure Worf doesn't malfuck data. <laughs> His ridge dick. Yeah. <laughs> His horny dick. His horny dick. <clears throat> yeah. That's probably a good dick for fucking. That would have been better if Worf had Ripped. a more like uh, urban perspective. Oh, yeah. Things. Well, I would love, I love the idea. <laughs> I actually, I wrote a sketch when I was like 19 that was like Worf and LaForge on break. And then they're yeah. like, 
man, fuck this shit. <laughs> 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 like, they're like, fuck it. You know, they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna let me wear my Tims on the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like incredibly racist. It's racist. They're like, as hell. Where, where's that crusher bitch? At? I'm trying to smash on that crusher bitch. There's a video wearing that blue ass coat. <laughs> There's a video my friend Ari Stern showed me of the guy who plays Worf uh, doing Michael stand Dorn. up. Yeah, yeah. At the Improv in L.A. Well, every oh, single yeah, every yeah. cast member was actually a comedian. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. That's how they all got on the show. P. Stu was on uh, Premium Patrick Blends. Stewart was, yeah, yeah he was, yeah. Uh, he was, uh, uh, on, he has two appearances on the Bad Boys of Comedy. Wash <laughs> they ass. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't these pictures? Look at him. He's laughing. Because he know. My man know. But when you be eating the pussy, look at him. Look at him laughing. My bitch said, uh, the dick gotta be grown. <laughs> it's got to be a grown ass dick. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, black folks, beat your kids. <laughs> <laughs> Beat your kids, black folks. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, going back to the asshole, the final frontier. <laughs> These are the forges of trying to get my dick wet. <laughs> oh, man. I would love for Peace Dude to just. I, would I got a it. captain's log for you right here. <laughs> I would uh, love to watch Patrick Stewart fuck, dude. He's probably so efficient. Yeah. Well, there he's was got like, a young, hot girlfriend. Yeah, he does. He has a yeah. girlfriend that's like 22, and yeah. he's like 96 years old. Yeah, he's old as hell. And, and his all these best friend is that guy. The all these women got mad at the article. They were like, check out Patrick Stewart and his girlfriend. All these women are like, ah, he's supposed to date a fat bitch that's his age. <laughs> you know, like they all get fucking mad whenever one of like their the heroes Leo doesn't shit. want to fuck them. Yeah, like yeah. the Leonardo DiCaprio shit. But it's like, fuck, man. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah, they're like, oh, he's basically a pedophile. A pedophile is a man who, uh, you know, I have to find a way to criticize. Yeah, he's rich. Because he's enjoying his life. That's, <laughs> the pro that's the problem you really have, is that yes, Leonardo is DiCaprio is enjoying his life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is fucking completely transparent. <laughs> he said, no, it's wrong because, uh, uh, because fuck him. <laughs> oh, man. It is how, I mean... That is a little weird, though, to be, like, fucking 60 years older than the person you're fucking. No, it's not. No, it's <laughs> awesome. It's absolutely, yeah. It's really yeah. awesome. No, it's, you know what, it sucks you, being yeah. old, being fucking old. Let him fuck if he wants. The guy, 